I'm Charlene Israel. New information out in the Boston Marathon bombing investigations. Authorities say the marathon was not the suspect's original target. And feds are now hoping to find clues after recovering the laptop of surviving suspect Jokar Sarnayev. The Boston plot continues to unravel. Authorities say the surviving suspect, Jokar Sarnayev, told investigators that the original target was a Boston 4th of July celebration. But he and his brother Tamerlan finished building their bombs sooner than expected. That's when they decided to attack the Boston Marathon instead. And another development in the case. Feds say they've recovered Jokhar Sarnaya's laptop. Three of Jokhar's friends have been accused of throwing away and withholding evidence and information. But one of their attorneys says his client handed the laptop over the first time agents came to see him. I'm not sure a 19-year-old college student understands the gravity of a situation like this. Um, and they did not uh, intentionally or knowingly destroy evidence. The three friends face a maximum sentence of between five and eight years in jail if convicted. He, he was a good kid, definitely a good kid, and I guarantee you that he most likely had no knowledge of what he was doing. But he made a stupid decision because he knew the guy. Meanwhile, investigators have a new link to radical Islamic terrorists. Jokar confessed that he and his brother watched internet sermons of American al-Qaeda cleric Anwar al And authorities continue to investigate a 2012 trip that Tamerlan Sarnayev took to Dagestan, Russia. They say he met with known Islamist militants while he was there. Feds are also investigating a post-bomb phone call Tamerlan made to his wife Catherine Russell. She denies having any knowledge of the attacks. Tamerlan Sarnayev's body was released Thursday to family members. Officials say the cause of death won't become public until a death certificate is filed.